there's more than one technique to do this in. We can use tri clever trigonometric identities, but I'm going to use the techniques that they classically show for the trigonometric integrals. This is a sine and cos product, and what we have is even power. So this is the dangerous case where we have to pay attention and we can't use the technique where we have at least one odd power of these and steal the differential. This time what we're gonna use is another trigonometric identity, or you can use the double angle formula for sine theta also, which is what the engineers will always point out to me, especially they like to point out that they have an alternate route to this, and it's like, good, you're starting to see I can use more than one technique. I'm going to use what the classic textbooks on this will do under trigonometric integration of uh, uh, powers of cos and sine. So what we're going to use is the fact that sine squared x equals one half one minus cos two x and cos squared x equals one half one plus cos two x. So equals, the first thing I'm gonna do is just substitute those in there because I have no other choice, I don't have a differential. The idea is now I get one half cos was one plus cos two x, and this was one half one minus cos two x. Coincidentally, I can't help myself by pointing out that those identities are awfully similar. You should try deriving them from trigonometric identities and you'll see why they're awfully similar. So <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is clean it up, expand and foil this out. This is the difference of squares. This is A plus B, A minus B. So the middle terms are going to cancel. So when you see that, you're like, what happened there? I do use the difference of squares. You should be on this by now. Plus I have one half times one half. So I have one fourth the integral of one minus cos squared 2x dx. And now what do I do? Now what we're going to have to do is reiterate this thing. So when we reiterate this thing, we're going to have to use these formulas, but now with 2x in there. And so now I've moved the integral to the top with editing. And so now what the idea is, we have to, every time you do this and they get worse and worse, but we're going to reiterate the double angle formula for this. So cos squared 2x is 1 half 1 plus cos 4x is what we're going to have. So what we do with that is we get 1 over 4, 1 minus, and now we have this, 1 half, 1 plus cos 4x dx. So then what I'm going to do is once I use the formula, you want to clean things up and group like terms. So what I see is I have 1 quarter, the integral of, I'm going to distribute the negative. So I have 1 minus 1 half, which is 1 half. And then I have minus one half cos four x dx. If I did that correctly, we'll see. If I didn't, we'll point an er stupid arrow at myself for not getting it right and skipping steps. If you shouldn't do this. So this equals one over eight. I can factor the one half out times the integral of one minus cos four x. Now you can see, regardless of whether you pull that out there. But the move or the idea is now that I have just the power rule again and we have a cos kx term and that's the idea to get it to cos kx and then so now this integral is 1 over 8 uh, x minus 1 fourth sine 4x four plus c. And then you can distribute that back in if you want but essentially that's the main answer.